Welcome to Perek Chera, singing praises to the Creator from In Front of the Blind by the Reverend Rabbi Asa Kesar, vegan, part two of two on words of wisdom. The Reverend Rabbi Asa Kesar, a Shining World Hero Award recipient, is an Israeli religious scholar who's on a mission to spread veganism all across Israel and the world. Strong in his dedication and compassion for all God's creatures, the Reverend Rabbi Asa Kesar is a frequent lecturer at universities, elementary, and high schools, and yeshivat, or Jewish educational religious institutions, throughout Israel. His speeches feature statements from the Holy Torah about the incorrectness of consuming animal products, especially in our modern world. The Reverend Rabbi Asa Kesar's courageous message is reaching millions of people daily, not only in Israel, but also globally, as some of his talks have earned tremendous attention on the internet. The Reverend Rabbi Kesar is also the author of an important Jewish guide, In Front of the Blind, or Vilifne Iver Hashalem. The book is a collection of excerpts from the Torah, the Prophets, the Mishneh Torah, the Talmud, as well as from the Gaonim, Rishonim, and Akronim, which include Jewish spiritual leaders and religious legal scholars from the past and present. Through straightforward holy laws, the selection clearly shows how humans must treat all animals, namely with care and mercy. In front of the blind's caring reminder comes during this urgent time when animals, more than ever, need our protection and love. Today, we will continue our reading of the Reverend Rabbi Kesar's book, In Front of the Blind, an excerpt from chapter The Purpose of Animals. The amazing animals will keep singing their praises to the Lord, leaving us, humans, with a deeper consideration for their marvelous abilities and love for our Creator. The Purpose of Animals Perek Shara, Chapter of Song The whale says, Give thanks to Hashem, God, for He is good, His kindness endures forever. The fish say, The voice of Hashem is upon the waters. The God of glory thunders. Hashem is upon a multitude of waters. The frog says, Blessed is the name of His glorious kingdom forever and ever. The sheep and goats say, Who is like you among the mighty ones? Hashem, who is like you, adorned in holiness? Awesome in praise, worker of wonders. The cattle say, Rejoice unto God, our strength. Applaud the God of Jacob. The swine say, Hashem is good to the upright and the straight of heart. The beast of burden says, If you eat the fruit of your labors, how happy and fortunate you are. The camel says, Hashem roars from upon high and sounds his voice from his holy abode and roars his agony about his temple. The horse says, Behold, as the eyes of the servants to their master's hand, as the eyes of a maid to her mistress's hand, so are our eyes to Hashem our God, until He will favor us. The mule says, All the kings of earth shall acknowledge you, Hashem, for they have heard the sayings of your mouth. The donkey says, To you, Hashem, is the greatness and the might and the triumph and the glory for everything in heaven and earth is yours. To you, Hashem, is the monarchy and the sovereignty over every leader. The ox says, Then sang Moses and the children of Israel this song to Hashem, and they said, I shall sing to Hashem, for he has risen above the arrogant. He threw the horse and his rider into the sea. The wild animals say, Blessed is the good one who does good. The deer says, and I shall sing of your might, and I shall rejoice of your kindness in the morning. For you were a fortress for me, and refuge on the day of my oppression. The elephant says, How great are your works, Hashem! Your thoughts are extremely deep. The lion says, Hashem shall go forth as a mighty man. 
As a warrior arouses zeal, he shall shout even roar. He shall overcome his enemies. The bear says, The wilderness and its cities shall raise their voices. The courtyards where Kedar, nomadic tribe, dwells, the rock dwellers shall rejoice. They will shout from the mountain peaks. They will give glory to Hashem and tell of his praise on the islands. The wolf says, For every criminal act, for the ox, the donkey, the lamb, the garment, for every lost item which he says, This is it, shall they both come with their claim to the judge. He who the judge finds guilty shall pay double to his fellow. The fox says, Woe to him that builds his house without righteousness and his upstairs rooms without justice. He employs his fellow with no wages and will not pay him his due. The greyhound says, Let the righteous rejoice in Hashem. Glory befits the upright. The insects say, May Israel rejoice in his Creator. May the children of Zion be joyful in their King. The snake says, Hashem supports the fallen and straightens the bent over. The scorpion says, Hashem is good to all and his mercy is upon all his handiwork. The ant says, go to the ant sluggard, see its ways and become wise. The mouse says, and you are just for all that comes upon me, for you have acted in truth and I have been wicked. The rat says, let every soul praise Hashem. Hallelujah. The dog says, Come, let us prostrate ourselves and bow. Let us kneel before Hashem, our Maker. In the book of Kings 2, it tells how the army of Sennacherib surrounded Jerusalem in the days of King Hezekiah. 180,000 of Sennacherib's soldiers died when they came to fight against the nation of Israel, and that which caused their death was the Song of Animals. As it is said, Rabbi Yitzhak Nafha says, He revealed ears for them, and they hear the songs from the mouths of the creatures, and they died. Rabbi Yohanan says, What is the meaning of that which is written? The curse of the Lord is in the house of the wicked, but he blesses the habitation of the just, the curse of the Lord is in the house of the wicked. This is a reference to Pekah, the son of Remaliah, who would eat 40 seas of fledglings for dessert and would still not be satiated. But he blesses the habitation of the just. This is a reference to Hezekiah, king of Judea, who would eat a liter of vegetables at his meal and was satiated. It is said about King David, when he completed the book of Psalms, he became haughty and said before the Creator of the world, Is there any being in the world that sings songs like me? A frog appeared in front of him and said, Don't feel so proud. My song is superior to yours, for within every song that I recite, there are three thousand proverbs. Final Words Genesis plant-based nutrition for man. The vision of the end of days, plant-based nutrition for man. One who is focused on wholesome worship of God will not allow themselves to take the easy path, but will strive for high ideals. Rav Abraham Isaac Cook, we must remember that in a wholesome state before the sin, Adam was commanded not to eat meat. Therefore, we know that in the time to come, after the world is repaired, the heavens and earth will be revitalized. The nature of man and the beast will change and be elevated. Then we will return to supreme moral sensitivity, and accordingly it will be forbidden to kill an animal to eat their flesh. And I will make a covenant for them on that day with the beasts of the field, and with the fowl of the sky, and the creeping things of the earth, and the bow, the sword, and war, I will break off the earth and I will let them lie down safely. Redak. This refers to Isaiah's prophecy, and a wolf shall live with a lamb, and that is discussed there. And a wolf shall live with a lamb, and a leopard shall lie with a kid, and a calf and a lion cub and a fatling shall lie together, and a small child shall lead them. 
and a cow and a bear shall graze together. Their children shall lie, and a lion, like cattle, shall eat straw. And an infant shall play over the hole of an old snake and over the eyeball of an adder. A weaned child shall stretch forth his hand. They shall neither harm nor destroy on all my holy mount. For the land shall be full of knowledge of the Lord as water covers the seabed.